So today uh, we concluded the joint board meeting of the U.S. Egypt Science and Technology Joint Fund. It's the first meeting in five years since pandemic. So it was very uh, timely uh, for us, for the both boards on the U.S. side, on the Egypt side to come together to look over and see what is working, what's not, and review the impact and, uh, and deliberate on the future of the joint fund. The U.S. government obviously sees Egypt as a very strategic partner, um, not just in the region, but globally as well. Today we had a lot of discussions on the new programs for the future. And so the U.S. government has taken multiple steps to sort of reaffirm that partnership. And one of the best ways to do it is through scientific engagement, right? These collaborations open doors and build networks between our researchers and our institutions to work together for years to come. So the opportunity to pair our best scientists with Egypt's best scientists to work collaboratively on issues that are of importance not just to Egypt but also to the U.S. is just such a wonderful opportunity and to see some of the outcomes of this collaborative research in the fields of water, energy, health, agriculture has been really exciting. Cycle 22's focus on climate change research is most appropriate, particularly following Egypt's historic presidency of COP27. Our work together can help accelerate Egypt's transition to clean energy following its bold Vision 2030 strategy. Innovation has the power to build a robust economy and improve health and well-being. Our innovators and entrepreneurs are eager to share their best practices. I think we were able to discuss a lot of important issues. We're really using it as an opportunity to sort of prioritize what are our next steps in terms of where we're going to be putting our research dollars, um, how are we going to be promoting and incentivizing innovation in the region and in the U.S. The U.S. agencies, the representative of the Egyptian government, clearly showed a lot of commitment, interest in more collaboration. So we are very much looking forward to continuing the joint fund activities and doing more in the years to come.